describe a little bit what m where monounsaturates versus saturates come from? Okay, we have we 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 crudely put fats into three categories. There are these things called polyunsaturates, which include what, we, what are all oh, the classes called essential fats, and they have a good name um, over the decades because they used to, we used to think they didn't raise cholesterol. Um, and we need a, each human needs a modest amount of those each day. You don't, we don't use them for fuel. We use them to maintain certain key uh, elements of membranes in the body. So those are what we call polyunsaturates. Monounsaturates are fats that have just what called, what's one double bond in them. And typically, we would think those come from olive oil. But there are other good sources of those now, such as high oleic safflower oil and canola oil. Um, and when you examine what humans store under their skin for fuel, said he pinching a spot, humans store a majority, tend to store a majority of monounsaturates, even if you don't eat a majority of monounsaturates. And what that implies is what I've got stored here is what my body has stored for a rainy day. It's what my body wants to burn if the outside fuel supply is cut off. 